three-dimensional space. And it's going to be the product of two vectors. And it's going to give us a third vector. And we're going to first look at how to compute it. And uh, we're going to take this to be the definition. So cross product, we need two uh, three-dimensional vectors. So we'll go with uh, v1 and v2. So these need to be three-dimensional. This is not something exists that exists in two dimensions. So we have two vectors. And the way we're going to compute it is we're actually going to use a determinant of a uh, three by three matrix. And this matrix, the first row is i, j, k. The second row is a1, b1, c1. So this is basically vector one is in the second row here. So that's vector one. And then vector two is in the third row. So how do we compute determinants? Well, we're going to go across. We're going to expand across row one here. And one more thing to remember about determinants. Uh, you have to alternate signs. So it's going to go plus minus plus on the first row. Uh, if you did a row expansion on the second row, go minus plus minus, and the third row go plus minus plus. So we're only going across the first row. So I'm going to go ahead and erase these. So I'm doing a really fast review on how to compute determinants. Uh, the other thing we need from determinants is a uh, two by two determinant. And we'll just look at a two by two matrix. And the way you want to think about this is go on the diagonals like this. So we go on the first diagonal, it's A times D. Oh, wow. All right, A times D minus B times C. So that is how we compute a two by two determinant. So you want to think about going down the diagonals, basically. So it's A times D minus B times C. All right, so we're going to use that two by two determinant on the next step. So we're doing cofactor expansion. I don't want to go through a big uh, lesson on determinants. So we're going to first expand across uh, the first row, and we're going to do uh, the first column. So the way we do it is i, which is right there. So it's i times the determinant of the matrix with the row and the column uh, where I is removed. So we're removing row one, removing column one, and what is left, we have B, B1, C1, B2, C2. So we're taking this lower right two by two matrix. So this is B1, C1, B2, C2. So that's column one. Now we're gonna go to column two. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle column two. And what is it? Now, here's where this minus comes into play right here. So it's going to be minus J right there. So we're basically going across row one. So we're focused on uh, the J position here. We're removing everything in this column right here. So what's left, we have A1, C1. A2, C2. And next, we're going to do the third column, which is the K column. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that column. And we have plus K times the determinant of, so what's left over, it's this lower left matrix right here, A1, B1, a2, B2. And now we're going to use that 2 by 2 determinant to get these determinants here. So remember, we're going on diagonals like this. So it's going to be time, it's I times B1, C2. I'm keeping these alphabetically ordered. And then we're going to go up here, which is B2, C1. 
minus j times, and we're doing the same diagonals. So it's a1, c2, and the other diagonal is a2, c1. And last up, the last two by two, a1, b2, minus a2, b1. So this is a, quite a bit more tricky than computing a dot product. And you really just wanna have some practice doing this. So we're gonna do an example next. Just gonna compute the cross product of two vectors. Uh, oh, and a notation. We use a, uh, it looks like an X. Uh, which is a great reason to not use any variables that are x here. So we're going to completely avoid using variables, uh, the variable x, so that when we see an x right there, we know it's a cross product, not the variable x. So if it was a dot product, you would have a big dot right in the middle, but this is cross product, so you have this big x in the middle. So I want to compute our vectors be two, three, five, cross with one, two, three. So we're gonna line this up in that determinant form. I, J, K, always in the first row. Now the second row is going to be this vector here, two, three, five. The third row, or the last row, is this other vector, the second vector, one, two, three. Now I'm intentionally leaving out negatives here. I picked an example with no negatives because we will have, as you can see, we'll have plenty of times where we will be subtracting. I just don't want to have too many negatives going on. All right, so we're going to expand on the first row. Make sure that you circle that first row. Let's do our expansion down here. So I'm looking at the I column first. So block out that column. A really good uh, way to block this out. It's not so easy to erase on your paper like it is uh, for me here. So I recommend just use a either one of your fingers to block it off or uh, if you got a second pencil or highlighter, block it off with that. So I don't want to look at those two numbers right now. So this is I times the determinant of the leftover matrix, three, five, two, three. Minus, don't forget that minus, J times, so now block out the J column. We have two, five, one, three. And last up, we're into the K column now. And that's two, three, one, two. So again, use some visual aid. I recommend use one of your fingers or a second um, pencil or highlighter to just cover up the column that you're on. You don't wanna mess up and uh, maybe grab two, one, something like that. You don't want to uh, make a visual mistake like that. All right, these two by twos. We're just gonna think about the two diagonals here. So we have three times three minus two times five. And this is a minus J times two times three minus one times five plus K times two times two minus one times three. And now this is just arithmetic here. We got nine minus 10 minus J times six minus five plus K times four minus three. And nine minus 10 is minus one. I'm going to write the uh, I afterwards. <clears throat> you know, I'll do this actually in two steps. So it's I times negative one minus J times one plus K times one and writing this in a 
order that I prefer it. I'd like to write this as minus i minus j plus k. And of course, I prefer diamond notation, so I would personally prefer to see it written like this. So I'm going to go with this version as my final answer. It is absolutely OK to have this as your final answer as well. Uh, this previous line is not really simplified all the way, so these are the two acceptable answers, and they're both acceptable. All right, so that is our first example of computing a cross product. And now we're going to compute another one, except I'm going to change the order. So I'm going to go one, two, three cross two, three, five. So in math, there's no try, there's only do. And you either know how to compute the cross product because you watch a lecture, you did enough example problems to memorize it, uh, or you don't know how to do the cross product, in which case you're doing something most likely completely different. Um, so the first step, no matter what, is always line up this determinant matrix with i, j, k. And now one, two, three, <clears throat> my first vector. And then my second vector, two, three, five. So what's the difference in these two matrices? It's the order, the second and third row changed orders right here. So those two swapped. That's the difference between this matrix and that matrix. And that just came from the order that we did the cross product. We switched that order, so it switched the rows. So what effect is that going to have? We'll find out. So again, circle the top row, and I'm going to go through this one a little bit quicker. So we're crossing out row I, so we have 2, 3, 3, 5, minus J times a determinant, 1, 3, 2, 5, plus K times a determinant, of one, two, two, three. And now two by two determinants, same way you always do them. Two times five is 10, minus three times three is nine, minus J times one times five is five, two times three is six, one times three is three, minus two times two is four, so we have one i, this is minus j times negative one, uh, plus k times negative one, and that's i two negatives, so j is actually positive j, and then k is negative. So in diamond notation, this is one one minus one. All right, very similar to what we got before, except how do these two relate? Well, they're almost the same. They're just negatives of each other. And why did that come about? Well, if you look at that swapping that happened here between those two rows, the effect that had is it made down here, when we computed our two by twos, it swapped row one and row two on each of these two by twos. And one of the many properties of determinants, when you swap two rows, the determinant becomes negative. So this property we call anti-commutativity. So the cross product is anti-commutative. So that means V cross W is negative W cross V. So it does, it sort of commutes, but it commutes with a negative sign. So we call that anti-commutative. Anti meaning uh, the opposite sign. All right, so that's our first cross product property, and we did some computations. Uh, we'll look at some geometric properties. We'll get geometric properties next. <clears throat> 